Okay, so good morning, student. Again, welcome back to our online class for the second session. And second session, as you have already knows, you are going to learn about grammar plenitudes every Wednesday, right? So grammar plenitudes today we are going to finish about unit two. They are children, okay? And we go to the point that you are going to learn language station. We have to review. Uh, unit 1 until unit 2 and on page 16 all together page 16 in here but before you move to uh, practice doing exercise page 16 with unit 1 and unit 2 you have to do some review related to singular and plural noun that you have learned so far in this unit right okay all right so please student this one is a singular. Do you know the word singular? Singular, we have only one, right? And then plural noun, two, four, two, three, four, four, five. This one is say about plural noun, okay? And then we have like many ways that uh, if you want to make, if you want to make singular to plural, you ha we have like five or four or six ways that you are going to know, right? Example, Tiger, do you know the word tiger? Tigers, yes. Live in the forest, very, yeah, very fierce. Tigers, if you want to, uh, two tiger, three tiger, you have to add S. So, most noun, usually we have to, we have to add, you have, uh, you add S for most noun, right? If you want to do singular to plural, you have add S. This is almost noun. Rule one, and then two, if, you know, a uh, singular noun at the end of the letter H, S, or C, H, you have to add E, E, H. Example, bus, one, buses, two, F, okay? So, buses. And number three, wife, wife. You know, this is only one Y, this is two Y, F. If, you, if the noun at the end of letter F, E, you have to erase it and add V, E, H to make the plural, right? So this is number three rule, one rule, two rule, three rule. And, and he also, this is they say about Eric Schuller noun, child only one, children, many times. This one is say Eric Schuller noun. You have to memorize and have to remember by yourself, okay? So move to other one. If the noun adding in Y and after that consonant sound, you have to change Y. At I E S. So this one is a babies, base, baby. This one is number five rule. So today I just review five rule that you are that you have already learned, right? Okay, so most noun at S at number two, if noun at the end of letter H, C H S S, you have to add E S. If noun at the end of the letter F E, you have to erase it. And then at V E S, delete it and at V E S to plural. This one is say about Eric Schuller noun. This one is say Y at the end of noun and then after that consonant. Okay, so you have to change Y and at I E S. Understand, student? I have one baby, you have to write like that. Or I have two babies, so one, you have to write like that. Okay, this is this part is singular, this part is plural. Okay, now it's time that you practice doing exercise with me on page 16 all together. So language station, you need one, two. Okay, so you need one, you study about a, and and the, right? So we use the for what? For, for what? Only one thing, right? The only one thing like the moon, the earth, the world. So this one is only one thing or specific thing you use the remember student and a uh, any one thing but in front of consonant sound and any one thing also but vowel sound okay remember student so now practice doing exercise with me it is you complete a uh, uh, no the because sun sun only one thing you have to use the so it is the the sun and number two Holly has to what okay you look at the picture this one is say live right live so L E A V E S come from the word live like that but when noun 
singular noun at the end of letter F, you have to delete it and add V E I. So Harley has to live. Right? Has to live. Okay, move to number three. Umbrellas. Umbrella, this one is only one, but no 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 no. Any one thing, but this one is in front of this one is a vowel sound, so you have it is an umbrella, right? So N. Yeah, very good, student. Okay, so move to number four, student. Kamal has has what? Uh, you can see the picture. Has has uh, only one hat. Uh, any one hat. So Kamal has a hat because this one is eh? okay. Because what? Because hat. You know the beginning of the letter. This one is say consonant sound. So you have to use a. Uh. Okay. So they are two what? Can you see? They are two children. Yeah, children or two kids or children. You have to write here. Children come from the word child. Here, two, two children. All right. So this one. So the last one. They are three white. Can you see the picture? Yeah, see white clouds. So cloud spell C L O U D S. Okay. So student number one, it is the Chen. Number two, Holly has to live. Number three, it is an umbrella. Number four, Cam has a heart. Number five, they are two children. Number six, they are three white clouds. Clouds. Okay, this is the correct answer that you have to practice do in exercise with me today. Okay, from unit one until unit two. I will have one time to do the review from unit one to unit two again uh, before we before we finish about unit two. Okay, so don't forget to see it again. Okay, so today you have to do some review related to singular and plural noun and you practice doing exercise with me on page 16 already and they are correct. Related to this, if you still don't understand, don't forget to ask the homeroom teacher. The homeroom teacher will clear you, will explain you clearly and one more thing, don't forget to do the classwork from your homeroom teacher that he, he has assigned and then homework on also. Two, Classwork and homework are play important role for you. Okay, don't forget to do it. And today also, I do appreciate for your watch my video teaching today. And uh, don't forget wait for the next video tomorrow, student. Thank you very much. And good luck. Stay home. Stay safe.